and welcome back to Nilda's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make garlic chicken, but with some Puerto Rican flavor in it. Now let's go over the ingredients we're going to be needing for the garlic chicken. Obviously we're going to need the chicken. So for those of you who are probably wondering how much chicken I have in here, I actually have a whole chicken in here and it's all cut up. I do kind of leave some of the skin in there. You can remove it if you want. It's entirely up to you. Um, also another ingredient that you're going to be needing is garlic. This is about approximately about three cloves and um, also adobo to give it some seasoning and some sazon for some seasoning and also for color and we're going to be using extra virgin olive oil for this. So now that I have my chicken all cut up, uh, I left some of the skin in the chicken as you can see. You can remove it as if you, you know, it's entirely up to you and I'm going to put this aside. So now I'm going to show you what I do with my garlic. There's actually several ways that you can uh, mash your garlic. Like I said, there's about three cloves in here. And I use a pilon to smash it, I do it the old fashioned way. Or you can use a garlic presser as well. I'm not a big fan of this, so I prefer it this way. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna smash it. As you can see, so I'm ready, I already started smashing it. Just make sure you be careful because it can actually fly and hit you in the eye and you don't want that to happen. So let me, let me show you exactly what I'm doing. smashing my garlic. It took me approximately about five minutes I'd say. Um, just again like I said be very careful when you're smashing because this thing can tend to fly, over, fly all over the place. But this is what the end result what it's going to look like. So what I'm going to do is just going to put this aside and I'm going to start seasoning my chicken with adobo. And again remember you're going to season to your tasting. You know you don't want to put too much seasoning in because you don't want to turn the taste too salty. So let's start beginning. Let's start seasoning the chicken now. I seasoned my chicken with adobo, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to grab the garlic, the mashed garlic, and we're just going to grab it, just kind of throw it in there. And we're just going to mix it around. Make sure you grab every single chicken with garlic in there. Again, this is very easy to make, and you're just going to, you know, with your hand, you know, mix it around with the chicken. All right, so now that I've mixed the garlic in the chicken, what I'm gonna do is gonna put some sazon in there. Again, this is to give it some flavor, but also to give it coloring. And in this case, I'm gonna be using two. You can use more if you want, it's entirely up to you. And what I'm gonna do is gonna mix it again. Make sure every chicken is colored with the sazon. Now that we have our chicken already seasoned with the adobo, with the garlic, and with sazon, now what we're going to do is that we're going to preheat our pan. And this is approximately about a three inch deep pan. So let's go ahead, turn on that, that stove. In regards to the olive oil, it actually varies from pan to pan. So again, you don't want to put too much oil in there because the chicken is going to throw on its own oils as well. So now that it's been, the, the oil has been heated up, what we're going to do is that we're going to transfer the chicken into the pan. chicken inside the pan, uh, what you're going to do is you're, you're going to wait until before you lower your flame. You got to wait until it starts to steam up and it starts to simmer and as you can see it took approximately a good about three to four minutes for it to get like this. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to cover it up and you can see that it's starting to steam. And now that you know if it's already heated, what I want you to do is to lower your flame. And that should do it and then what we'll do is that it takes approximately about 45 minutes to cook so what I'll do I'll be back about 20 minutes to check up on it if I need to turn it I'll turn it but we'll be back at 20 minutes and uh, I'll give you an idea what it starts to look like in 20 minutes. It's been approximately about 20 minutes 
and it's, your chicken should start looking like this. I'm not going to turn it right now, but if you feel that it's not steaming properly, what you might may want to do is raise your temperature. So again, you want to take a look. I raised my temperature a little higher just to kind of get into steaming and that way it can cook. I'm going to come back in about 10 minutes. And what I'm going to do in 10 minutes, I'm going to come back and just turn it around. But this is how it should be looking and it should be kind of, um, you know, simmering in, in, its own, in the oil. Well, I let it cook for an additional t 10 minutes. So I let it cook for 30, 30 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to turn it around. You can already smell the garlic. What I normally do in this time, I usually raise the, the, the flame a little bit higher because that way it can dry up some of the, the garlic. I'm just going to cover it up, come back in about 10 more minutes, and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to uncover it and just let it cook on its own. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take off the cover and I'm just going to let it simmer in, in this uh, heat for about 5 minutes. You can let it go longer if you want, maybe 10 but I'm gonna leave it for, for five minutes. And what I wanna do is I just kinda of wanna dry up some of this, uh, some of the juice that's in there. And then we'll come back and then we'll be able to serve. Well, I've been letting it sit for, I let it sit for about five more minutes. It's already been cooked and it's time for us to already serve. So let's go ahead. I usually pair my garlic chicken with white, white rice. So we're gonna do this. Oops. And then grab some chicken. What I love to do is grab some of the juice and pour it on top of your rice. And there you have it. Garlic chicken and white rice, a very simple dish to cook. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it on nolaskitchen.net or leave it on my YouTube channel.